The European Constitution embodied in the Amsterdam Treaty is based on the idea of four basic freedoms, the free movement of finance, the freedom of services, the free movement of goods and the freedom of movement, enabling people to move freely between European member states. But shouldn't we ask whether freedom of movement, if taken literally, shouldn't also apply on national and local levels and for everyone? Freedom of movement is one of the basic principles uh, guaranteed by the treaties and uh, as such uh, disabled people fully enjoy this right. However, we know that uh, there are some hidden obstacles, hidden for the able-bodied person, which uh, greatly impede disabled people to fully uh, enjoy this right. In Brussels, laws exist obliging all public spaces to be accessible to people with disabilities. So shouldn't there be something done on a European level to ensure that this legislation is enforced? Okay, now here we are. Unexpected uh, obstacle. Well, how do we get around that? Uh, surely there should be, there must be uh, some sort of uh, ordinance or law governing obstructions on the pavements. Uh, there I think uh, there is no pathway left for people to get through. I have no idea how I'm going to get through this one. At this stage there is no uh articles of the treaty which authorized the European community to legislate in the field of accessibility of public places. Now uh, here the pavement gets particularly narrow and uh, one coming down from here for example, one doesn't quite know which way to go, whether to cross here or here and one could easily bump into this. The European community is concerned uh, to promote a sort, a sort of good practices and to encourage the transfer of the information between member states in uh, such field as uh, disability awareness training, uh, audible signal at pedestrian crossings, uh, accessible transport for persons with reduced mobility. I should be crossing although the light has just turned red and um, I know this from the traffic moving that way, so I don't know if I still have time to cross, definitely not any longer now. And there is also the acoustic signal uh, down there, it's rather far away and therefore not easy to hear. And uh, when <coughs> there is a, a loud, I mean a vehicle with a loud motor on the uh, corner, it uh, becomes uh, impossible to hear this. Uh, red light uh, acoustic signal. The EU's intention of promoting good practice isn't enough to make governments like the one here in Brussels spend the money and time necessary to make public spaces safe for everyone. And surely the institutions themselves should lead the way, making their buildings examples for the rest of Europe. Here we are at a, a bus stop uh, and um, one particular aspect is that uh, uh, if I didn't know that this bus stop was here and I was looking for it, I wouldn't be able to find it easily. Everyone who had the opportunity to uh, visit the, the Council or the European Parliament or some of the Commission's buildings easily noticed that these buildings are not accessible to people with disabilities. And I think that the European institution should set the example by giving some good practice in the field of accessibility. Here we are in front of a revolving door. And of course, one of the difficulties is knowing when to jump in. Thank you okay. very much. That's very good. The European Commission is uh, committed to ensure that uh, should one disabled person work in the European Commission, all the facilities should be provided for him to work on an equal base. One problem with uh, lifts, when I mean, usually, luckily, there are lots of people around so they can help me out. But uh, here, now, where do we call the lift? Let's say, and we're going up, so I have to call it here. Um, now, when the lift arrives, we have no idea whether it's going up or down. There is a lift which has just arrived here someplace. The bells are not all that directional, so it's difficult to know which lift is going up. Now, we're trying to get into the lift and find out where to, which button to press. So here we are on 20, I believe. Is this 20? No, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing indicated, neither here or here. For a new lift, there is a, a le European legislation which requires that new lifts are to be accessible for disabled people, but for safety reasons. One of the uh, 
daily necessities is to be able to go to the bathroom from time to time. This is one problem. Here we have the doors to the uh, bathrooms. Uh, I have no idea whether this is uh, gents or ladies. Uh, of course, they're not always um, in the same uh, position uh, in this type of uh, general entrance. In this case, uh, I just happen to know from experience that it is on the left, and ladies should either be here or there. It doesn't matter. What is important to point out is that in the old council building in the uh, Charlemagne, here we would have uh, an embossed figurine of a gentleman. It's blatant that most European governments, including the EU itself, aren't complying with national legislation concerning disability. But why is it when there's so much time to be spent on questions of economy, issues like disability get left behind? Disability is, uh, is not left behind. Disability is a major policy concern. 10% uh, of the total population has a disability. And we know that with the aging of the population, the part of the population which is hampered in their daily life will increase, substantially increase. So disability is clearly on the agenda of all member states and all the Commission. Yeah, I think that it's high time that uh, we do <coughs> begin to take into consideration this uh, significant part of the population, which can be 10, 15, 20, 25 percent. The, the new treaty uh, is, uh, will make some major breakthrough with regard to disability issues. Uh, for the first time, uh, the combating discrimination against disability will be an explicit EU objective. There is a declaration attached to the treaty which requires that all legislation enacted to achieve the single market should take into account the needs of disabled people. Whatever is done to improve, um, make the life easier of those with permanent disabilities normally generally benefits the, the whole of society as well.